All right, ladies and gents, we got to talk real quick. First and foremost, Eula. Secondly, you know what my Eula weapon is. It's the new, well, it's not new. It's the four star weapon, the Snow Tomb Star Silver. I just got, I just got a new five star. It's the Wolf's Gravestone. Woo! And it's so much better. It's so much better in every single way, shape and form. Let me just tell you guys a little bit about it. First things first. I didn't completely get it to level 90 because I don't have enough materials nor more to get him up there. It's fine though, I will get it there eventually, it's just gonna be a little unsatisfying for now. So if we just go over here, you can see it's refinement rank 1, this is my first 5 star weapon ever, ever, so I'm really excited. Wolfish Tracker, increases the attack by 20%, this is base, this is base, it just gives you that. It gives you that on top of the 47.4% attack bonus you get from the stat, the, the substat. And so on hit, attacks against opponents with less than 30% HP increase all party members attack by 40%. So that includes your Eula or my Eula, my Fischl, my Zhongli, my Bennett. All of them get 40% increased attack when this occurs. But this can only occur every 30 seconds. It lasts for 12 seconds. I mean, it's a little unfortunate you have 18 second downtime on this, but I, I, I mean, you always have the increased attack by 20% on all the time. And I feel like that's really cool. This weapon has a really high base attack because, well, it's a 5 star weapon and it can really do a lot of damage for your team. This is super cool for Eula, but I feel like it's a little lackluster in the sense that there is a better weapon for Eula, giving it a, a, the normal attack speed increase. I feel like that's where you want the Song of the Broken Spines. Spines? I meant Pines. <laughs> Excuse me there. But I'm not gonna say this weapon isn't cool. This weapon looks cool aesthetically, looks really nice. It doesn't really fit Eula's whole cryo theme. It kind of shows like a fiery blade of death. And honestly, it would fit with a Diluc way more, uh, which I do not have. But I mean, it, it is what it is. I feel like just running this with the whole pale flame set and you know just my talents being like that it's just really nice and my, my eula has been good I've been having way more fun with the eula if I could just show you guys a little bit of damage of what my wolf's gravestone can now do compared to what it used to be able to do all right so if I just go to the thousand winds temple I want to show you guys what this weapon does against one of the ruin graders Let's just go over there real quick. Um, I'm not sure if you see that, but I think that's a chest. Is that a chest? I'm sorry, ladies and gents. Let me... Is that a chest? No way that's a chest, right? It's probably, it's probably just a heli churl. Okay, okay. It's not a chest. It's not a chest. Okay, I feel a little bit better. I thought it was a chest. It's just Dolan. Dolan and Patchy. Okay, cool. Now there is the I said ruin greater before, didn't I? The the whole field tiller, the ruin guard. I think I think that's what it was. So obviously I'm gonna use shred. I'm gonna use super conduct here uh, because I mean that's how you use Eula. All right, shred, boom, super conduct. And just 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 look at look at look at look at the damage. Just look at the damage. Let her crit. It's it, it goes off. It just goes off. It, it's so good it's so good and that's against a ruined guard let me just show you guys against like a normal normal team obviously this is my test dummy I always go to this dungeon this dungeon gives me a 75% increased in physical damage so keep that in mind as I go into this dungeon just just so you guys know it does give me 75% increased damage so it is a little inflated however Obviously, you could see a difference between my Snow Tomb Star Silver as well as this. I'm gonna be doing two runs and I'm gonna be putting it side by side so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna start it within three seconds here. Three, two, one. Alright, there we go. First things first, we use this, we shred, and we go. Just, just, just look at the sheer damage this does. It's so good. And as you can see, if you guys saw there, it gives that red um, icon of the wolf, that red wolf icon that shows you that the 30% less damage, or if the opponent is 30% less health, 
you're gonna get a 40% attack increase for all of your party members. You can, if you can just see me, <laughs> god damn. Um, obviously, I'm not even using my Bennett buff, which is, you know, Bennett buff is a little something something. And there we go, we shred, and we're, we're just going in. It's doing a little bit of lag, but there we go. Very clean, very, very cool. Okay, so we switch over to the Snow Tombed Star Silver. And now we have the Snow Tombed Star Silver. Um, I am going to be collecting the Viridescent Domain Artifacts, just because I kind of kinda, kinda just want more. And um, <laughs> Alright, let's see if we get lucky at least. Let's see if we get lucky at least. Please. Please. We don't get lucky, boys. It's unfortunate. I hate this domain. The artifact set is really trash for the maiden set, but it's really good for the viridescent one, so that's cool. Alright, so this is the Snow Tomb Star of Silver 1. 3, 2, 1, go. Boom. 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 And this is the damage. You, you, you can see the difference. You can see the difference that it makes. Alright, boom. Just just look at this. Alright. It still does decent damage, but it's so inconsistent. It's incredibly inconsistent. And I'm, I'm just really annoyed by that with this weapon. Uh, I don't know how to feel about that. It, it's, it's just really inconsistent in, in that sense. It's, it's really unfortunate to say that, because I love this, using this weapon. This weapon used to pop off for me. I thought this was the best thing ever. And then I owned a 5-star weapon, and everything changed. <laughs> it's like the Fire Nation. Everything changed when they attacked, boys. But yeah, that was that. So, uh, I mean, what's the verdict? It, it's just way too good to pass up on. I wouldn't see myself using a 4-star weapon ever 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 for a dps unit because the five stars are just way too good for example if i were to switch any of the you know characters for five star weapons i would in a heartbeat the only thing i wouldn't switch five star weapons for is for example the stringless or like a support characters weapon because support characters don't really need five star weapons you drop them in, and then you switch them out, right? That that's the that's the whole shtick with those characters. You just drop them in, you take them out. And I mean, support characters can have those five star weapons that give five star support. All in all, there's like a lot of intricacies and a bunch of things that goes into five star weapons, four star weapons, which one's the best? It all depends on the character that you have, right? So, I mean, that's a little bit unfortunate to think about, but it is what it is. So, it, would I run Wolf's Gravestone on another character? Sure, I would. A lot of people say Wolf's Gravestone works great with Chong Yoon, and I kind of want to try that out. But I don't really have another um, built character other than, I guess, Beidou. Beidou could use the, 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 the one, the Wolf's Gravestone, but I don't think it would work really well. She could use the Black Cliff. The Black Cliff would work much better with her. Or she could even use the Serpent Spine. A lot of that has, you know, something to do with it. Or she could even use the Sacrificial one. It's not going to do much damage, but this does have that reset. And that reset is what people look for. I mean, I could just show you guys a little bit more, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it just pops off and I just didn't expect it to pop off to this degree when I first got it I was like, yeah, it's cool, but I probably will still dust rock the snow tomb star silver and how wrong I was How wrong I was I didn't do much damage there. and so aren't 43. Oh my god. I can say this over and over again It's just too good to pass upon and a lot of people like don't see that, you know, I was one of them uh, I didn't have any any five star weapons. I just used four star weapons the entire time, and I even used the three star weapon, the thrilling tails for Klee for the longest time. But there we go. It's done. It's over. I have a five star weapon. That's gonna be it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.